but by 9 a.m. we're up to 59. It's a great day to get outside tomorrow. Noon 72, increasing the southeast wind. By 3 o'clock, you will definitely start to notice some more cloud cover in the sky. So after about four or five, that's when we'll need to watch those clouds closely for some thunderstorm development. I've got temperatures near 80 in deep east Texas tomorrow. As I mentioned, that wind southeast at 15, but as we go into the evening, the wind will increase a bit more, and that's going to help destabilize the atmosphere ahead of our next system to bring us a risk for some stronger thunderstorms. We're talking after five o'clock with hail, damaging wind gusts, the top two concerns here. This doesn't look to be very widespread compared to what we we had on Monday night. However, the risks are both at play. Tornadoes, I think overall are lower compared to Monday as well, but because of the wind energy, we know that's what a tornado needs to work with is wind shear, and there's a lot of that. We cannot rule out an isolated tornado, and the heavier rain threat definitely think is on the lower side compared to what we had on Monday. Let's look at future casts together. Now, you're not going to see a whole lot happening as we get into the late afternoon. And then into the evening, a couple of scattered storms develop. But what's happening above us is very unstable air with the upper level disturbance moving in. That may allow for some of these storms, although small in nature, to drop some hail. That's why we don't want to completely discount what we could see tomorrow evening into the early overnight. Even at 11 o'clock, a couple of stronger storms are possible into deep east Texas. Cold front pushes in overnight, a few showers along that front, but that is all that we anticipate to see as we get through this round of strong thunderstorms. Monday, a greater risk of severe weather. Storm Prediction Center has been outlying East Texas and the eastern half of the state going all the way back since last Monday. So there is a greater risk of severe weather moving in early next week. That's when more sufficient Gulf moisture moves in. So we'll definitely need to watch for that. So after we get through tomorrow, things are quiet heading into the weekend and then Monday and Tuesday, not just a severe weather risk, but also the threat of some heavier rainfall. We need that type of precipitation. We just don't want the severe storms. Deep East Texas near 80 tomorrow. You will get some late day storms and then we've got to monitor next week very closely.